purpose of this making the series is to make sure all the front end developers out there whoever aspiring to work for a bigger company you get a chance see most of the time you don't get a chance to showcase our front end skills is because this uh, data science algorithm is a big barrier for us we are not able to showcase our skills in like three rounds of dsl go no one is uh, cross Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Asanta. I hope you all doing well. As you know, I'm a content creator on YouTube. I help a lot of people to clear their interview. I made a lot of beautiful series in the past, and today I'm back with a brand new video series. This video series is one of the most most important uh, interview concept. It is data structures and algorithm. Many have requested uh, me to make this video series, so I've decided to make a detailed video series about data structures and algorithm, how to code, how to so pick, how to solve the most common interview questions, how to lot of different data structures like linked list, arrays, uh, uh, queues, uh, bi binary search trees, graphs, dynamic programming. All of that I decided to cover in this video series. So I'm going to explain about step by step how this series is going to be, what is the purpose, how we as a front end developer face lot of difficulty in days I'll go in this video. So please do watch the video till the end. Uh, let's get started. See the, the the main purpose of me making this video series. See, like like all the YouTubers, I also uh, scan through the YouTube before starting any new series. Similarly, I search the about restriction algorithm on YouTube with respect to JavaScript or the front end development. There are few series uh, which you can also definitely search. You'll get to know. But what everybody has done is they have started with the uh, arrays and queues, uh, stacks and queues, and they have come to the linked list. And now they many have not gone beyond linked list. So arrays. Or is stacks, queues, linked list, and they are done. Even in linked list, they are only uh, discussed about the single linked list. There could be some exceptional who have done uh, all the series. Please link that in the comment if you get. But whatever my analysis is, there has been been a complete series which explain about the binary search trees, the graph, the greedy approach, and all the versatility of the decision algorithm that has been not covered. So what uh, that is one main reason for me to make this video series. Second. There are many who are using the prototype kind of an approach to solve the data structure algorithm. Uh, end of the day, everything becomes the same way. But problem is the class-driven approach. Like you create a class link list, you create a class node, and try to decode in within in that kind of a thing is what very easy understand but understandable for the candidate. So I'm trying to teach in that way. Where if you're from, if you have any basic knowledge of an object-oriented programming like Java, C sharp, anything, this series will be very very easy for you. Along with JavaScript, if you know any basics of other language, it'll be very easy for you. Okay, now, so this is the whole purpose why I'm making the series. Okay, so what are the, there are a lot of problems that we as a front end developers face with the data structure algorithm. Let me show you by uh, by by decoding that on the screen. Okay, let's say you you saw a particular interview question. So this question that I will be searching, this question is asked across a lot of interviews like uh, Amazon, Google, and Facebook. The question is this. K is the smallest element in binary search tree using big O of one extra space in uh, with with big O of extra space. Okay, this is the question. I'm trying to search in JavaScript. Okay, because that is the only language per se. Let's assume I know. Okay, you searched it. As you know, most of the solutions nowadays exist either in lead code or in Geeks for Geeks. So I'm going for the Geeks for Geeks. In fact, I've already searched this once. So I've come here. So Geeks for Geeks, they have explained what is the problem and what is the solution to this. Luckily, they also have a JavaScript solution. Okay, so if you if you somebody who is watching the lead code since a good good number of time, they did not have JavaScript solution all the time. But recently, they started adding JavaScript to almost all the problems. So you saw this pro approach. Okay, so now, so let's say like you saw this solution. So there has been it will be in a way where the, a single problem will have multiple solutions. Some solutions are easy for you to understand. Some solutions are not. So you read this solution now. Okay, but now you are not sure about this solution. So what is the next step you do? Are there any other links you will see? Okay, you see one link is from the lead code. Some are from Stack Overflow. So Stack Overflow is, as you know, is not meant meant for a detailed explanation. Correct. So they will be solving only crux etc. Then if you go, you only have Stack Overflow and other things, or you have some next thing like I and you would be doing is we'll, we'll look for the videos. So if you look for the videos, so this video is from Geeks for Geeks itself. Okay, so they obviously have might be discussing the Java kind of an approach. I have not seen all the things. This is what my primary analysis is. So there are some more, by at least by title and the thumbnail, no one have claimed they have solved this problem in JavaScript. Okay. Now you ask, wasn't why? Why always you talk about JavaScript? We can solve in other language also. See, 
many people will have a skill sets of uh, looking the code in a java and other programmer languages and decode in javascript but for uh, everyone it is not that easy correct so they would expect the code in the language that they know fully correct so now uh, you, you, this this being one of the most common interview question you struggled so far and you haven't got the exact working solution correct so this is you got the working solution that you may not be some definitely will be able to understand some are not understanding so what is next so only solution to solve this problem is you need to know the uh, the binary history from the scratch correct so you know how to create a binary history you know how to insert element you know how to do in order um, pre order traversal correct post order traversals so if you know all these things then you have a chance where you try to look at the solution and decode it correct or you see a java code and try to decode it otherwise it is not that easy so someone should teach you from the scratch how to implement a binary search tree that is the role that i want to take i want to teach the crux of the binary search tree crux of the graph so that you know the fundamentals of creating it advanced one the problems like this you get a solution everywhere nobody in the world will be able to solve all the questions possible because questions will be coming every day correct but if you know the crux very well so which you will start learning how i'm going to teach by linkless itself if you start knowing that definitely you will be able to correlate and build the solutions on your own now there is another major problem associated with this let's say you are looking at java solution and trying to decode that in javascript let's start with a simple approach okay so this is a javascript one a binary search tree how you calculate a mid element in the binary search tree hope you all know so let's say high is 10 okay and low is 1 and mid is low plus i divided by 2 i think most at least in your degree you might have solved solved this correct so if i do console dot log and i'm doing the mid so if i run the code this is in javascript so mid is undefined uh, which mid is undefined let mid So let me run. Yeah. So you're seeing ten plus one divided by two, which was fine. Let's say I'm making it eleven as the high. Low is one. So you're getting six point five. Okay. So binary search, I think most binary search, the technique you know how people will do binary search, the highest and lowest, and they calculate the mid and see whether that element is matching. If it is higher, then they'll go to the next. If it is lower, then they go to the previous one and try to find the element. Basic searching. That is not my purpose of showing this. Let's say I try to do the same in Java. Okay. I'm selected here as okay plus plus or I'm selected here as Java okay same thing I'll do what I'll do is int low is equals to one high is equals to ten and mid then what I'm doing mid is equals to low plus high divided by two okay then I'm printing mid if I run what I'm getting sorry Java has syntax errors if I run what I'm getting So you are seeing the output as six here. It is six here, and it is six point five. The same, same similar code in JavaScript. So the purpose of showing this is, let's say you pick the binary search uh, algorithm from the gigs for gigs which is written in Java and try to decode. Let's say you replace uh, int with a let, correct? And you try, you will try other low plus send all remain same. So whatever is relevant to replace, you will replace. But it will be very difficult for you to figure out this problem. Binary search will not work if it starts getting six point five and other things. You have to take an extra care to avoid this kind of uh, things. But you will not be able to easily understand if you are doing it for the first time. Correct. So these are the problems that we as a front end developers are facing when it comes to data structure and algorithm solving. So I want to make you fundamentally strong engineer by the end of this series. Okay. So that you will be able to understand these fundamental concepts and do the right um, right uh, right uh, way of coding. Okay. Next, how this series is going to be? The last question that I'm going to answer. So this series is going to be combination of both explanation and the problem solving. So we'll start with the fundamentals of the uh, problem, uh, a particular data structure. Let's say what is linked list, how linked list is work, how to add elements into linked list, how to search element in linked list, how to display elements in linked list. So this entire thing we'll cover once. Okay. After that, let's pick some very common interview questions like how to find middle element in a linked list, how to find k the smallest element in linked list, or how to find a uh, element from the last like third element from the last in linked list so these are the things i'm going to teach so that you become master in one data structure fully so after this you'll go to the next data structure like maybe the w linked list or the binary search tree etc i have a plan to complete all the data structure that has been most commonly asked in the interview but i need your support as many more people watch this video series i get motivated and i'll try to make more and more videos 
in this concept okay my purpose of this making this series is to make sure all the front end developers out there whoever aspiring to work for a bigger company you get a chance see most of the time you don't get a chance to showcase our front end skills because this uh, data science algorithms are a big barrier for us we are not able to showcase our skills in like three rounds of dsl go no one is uh, crossing that round to go to the fourth round where actually javascript for the front end developer skills are asked correct so we have to cross this barrier successfully just by watching my series that is how i'm going to make this entire series okay thank you so much for watching if you like this introduction video please do like it on my youtube channel share this video with your friend let all get benefited from it do not forget to subscribe to uncommon that's the whole purpose i make lot of videos okay thank you so much catch you in next video